Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Galactic Conquest in Star Sector. So, we are of course still a very, very tiny little fleet captain right now, but at least we have two ships. So in fact, I've actually doubled the size of my navy in the first episode, so pretty handy. Now, first thing we're going to be doing is I've been looking around between episodes and there are some new bounties that have appeared on the old radar here. So, there's one right here which I'm quite interested in because uh, first off, the person's name is Spindle. I think that's quite interesting. Also, she looks like Angelina Jolie. I don't know how that's happening, but it's also okay. And uh, there's this thing. I don't know what on earth this ship is, but I really want to see what it is in person. So we're going to head over there immediately. Oh, where is this? She is rumored to be hiding out near a jungle world in the system of a dwarf primary star. Uh, there's quite a few of those, but it's fine. We'll go and have a look. Luckily, it's quite nearby as well. Now, unfortunately, the last bounty I went to try and get... Wait, hello? No. <laughs> oh, a wolf. Can I salvage it? No, no. We should we should use base game ships. We are playing as this faction. We'll be using their ships. Though I do say that, there's enemies running towards me. <laughs> Hi. I like how they're about to attack me and they realize there's those allies everywhere. Okay, wait. They didn't help me. I'm by myself. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're probably going to have to try and avoid at all costs that large uh, destroyer there, though, because it'll probably murder us, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, so this is actually my new ship build. First time using it, I will be doing this button. So instead of me actually having a very large gun at the front, I've actually just got a lot of capacity for uh, engine and whatnot. It seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> We're going to rely on our little uh, harvester guns to kill our enemies. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Can I put a do not go near order on this fella? Yes, I can. Avoid at all costs, everybody. My, my ally seems very passive, which is pretty good news for us. Oh. I love this harvester gun. When we get the um, mod later on that increases range by, I think it was 25%, I think it would be a lot better as well. Because right now, we're kind of in the same range as all these enemy pirates, but if we can outrange them, even better. Oh, that's not good. They have Reaper torpedoes. Not this guy, this guy. Uh, if we... This will kill pretty much anything <laughs> if it hits you. It's pretty um, obvious when it gets fired, though. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm going to focus on this guy. See if we can take him out. Let's try and get some distance between us and that big ship as well. Luckily, I think it is pretty slow unless it's using its afterburners. Yeah, we can barely keep up with this ship. It's a bit too fast. Oh, that's not good. I can't use my shield, by the way, while I'm using the super speed mode, so there is an offset there. Okay, good. He's miles away. Let's go over this way. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. How, is he still... Is he doing okay? He's not dead yet, so I guess he's doing fine. Hello there. This is why the pirates need to invest in shields. Because otherwise this happens. There's one left. I like how much difference this one ship has made to... Oh, it's a second destroyer. It looks like a transport ship. I think I've seen this before. I think it's actually a transport ship. Maybe they've, like, uh, retrofitted it to have some more weapons or something, but... Tag team, buddy. Tag team. I'm not seeing much tagging. There you go. Oh, I don't like that for those missiles. You've got to be very careful with missiles with mods on, because you don't know what on earth the missiles are. It could be like a rapid fire death torpedo piercing lance thing. You never really know. Okay, the enemy unfortunately does have quite a bit of armor here. Though I was saying that I'm using energy weapons, so it doesn't really matter what the enemy has. I'm doing the same amount of damage. Uh, oh, that's not good. Despite this being a transport, it's pretty tanky. Uh, so the only. It's got full armor pretty much, apart from on this part of the side here. I don't think it's going to have a lot of HP. But can we get around to that weak point? Is probably the question we have. And that also explains why my ally backed up, because uh, they're scared of, well, this guy. I, can I just say, though, I'm a massive fan of these point defense weapons. Look how effective they are. It's pretty awesome. What are these missiles? I wish there was like an in depth missile encyclopedia in the middle of the battle. <laughs> it's like, let me read up about this thing, please. They seem very good at tracking, but they're not that fast, so. Okay, so I think the AI has kind of done a thing where they're going to try and stick with this big ship. So I'm going to turn off the avoid order. My ally should come back in and help me out with the battle. It's 
jury by myself. I haven't really got much chance of killing everybody here because the enemy is a bit too tanky for a single ship. I wonder if I can get my one to go and engage that shepherd though. The shepherds are very, very weak. <laughs> the only thing they really have going for them is that oh, they have a uh, this little mining drone unit. Ooh. Okay, change target. Not enjoying this. It's great. Why are you so close? <laughs> to be fair, they didn't die. They did a pretty good job there. I'm going to go for the ship myself. I am taking some damage to my armor, but we got some okay armor. I'm not happy at all about my unit taking on that big ship there, but... Shepard down. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. Wait, did the shield get it? Yes! <laughs> the best thing about shields, by the way, is because they, like, come out on an arc. So the arc must have, like, gone big enough just in time to actually hit that missile and stopping it. Very lucky. Because I said, I have no idea what these things do. So if it hits me, I might just die. You just don't really know. <laughs> I do think the limitation of my point defense is that it's burst base. So the longer we're continually shooting it, the less it's going to be useful. Oh, my ally's been hurt. He's put him back. Which is a good thing. I'm taking a lot of missile fire here. Despite the enemy transport ship not being brilliant at, like, uh, brawling and stuff like that, but its missiles have actually knocked me off already. I want to at least kill this before we retreat, if we do retreat. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't feel I can kill this by myself. I think I need some backup. Uh, we can give it a shot, though. Let's try this. No fit! Ah, oh, it's not enough damage. It's got too much HP. Well, I'm leaving. Good luck with this, everybody. <laughs> I left the toaster on. I need to leave. Goodbye. I think we did pretty well there. I mean, we killed a lot of the destroyers, uh, not destroyers, the frigates and whatnot, but we could not, unfortunately, kill these bigger ships. The biggest limitation you're going to have when you start the game, especially if you've got a lot of fast, nimble frigates like I'm probably going to have, is that unless you've got something big and heavy hitting, you're not probably going to be able to kill these big boys because their armor is just too much or their HP is too much. Uh, so we're leaving. Goodbye, game. But like I said the other day, we've actually got a clean disengage. Very nice. We can easily leave and not worry about it. Uh, disengage. Yes. I mean, you might get lucky if you have a situation where your... We've got no supplies, by the way. <laughs> if your uh, missiles from your my ally frigate actually hit him quite a lot, it might kill them. But thank you, privateers, for fighting this enemy for me. What a horrible person. <laughs> he ignored my plight completely. Okay, let's see. So, oh, random music again. Let's get some more supplies. Ah, uh, let's get his head off. I probably should do a general repair before we leave. And then we get more supplies again. And some more uh, crew. Let's go. Okay, so we're still on the same mission as before. We're going to head over towards the bounty. Let's see what's over there. Now, I will say one of the mods I have, I'm not sure what it is directly, but one of the mods I am using actually has a thing where you can have um, squadrons. Like, what do you mean squadrons? Well... If you get like a Pacific fighter wing, it becomes like its own. Ooh, it becomes its own unit. Which is There's one right there. How cool is that? <laughs> so you can see this is um, this would be a broad broadsword. It's I think name wrong. Why about that? But anyway, so basically it's a very like souped up, very good version of a, the whatever fighter wing it represents. And then following it, it has its own fighter wing. So it's kind of like having you can have like a top ace fighter squadron kind of thing like uh, you can have like gold squadron from star wars something like that or like uh, maverick <laughs> the maverick squad uh, it's, it's a pretty cool idea we will definitely get some of those because i hopefully the mod is i should not know if it's going to be integrated into the mod i'm using but if it lets me get a custom super mech squad that'd be amazing that's what i'm gonna put out there anyway let's get out of here the enemies will probably chase me a little bit oh there's, there's some storms there Let's be careful. I like how um, I have the innate ability to fly into every single storm in the game. It's very useful. Okay, so we know they're going to be by one of these small primary stars, and there's three of them in a row. 
So we we'll give this a shot. That's a big army. Army, navy, and it's hostile because it just turned around. Oh, that's not good. There's a ludic path. Oh, why am I? Oh no! What is happening here? There's something strange happening, but I'm not sure what it is. And I'm gonna. Oh. Yeah, we've got to be careful. These fleets are a little bit scary. They're going to try and catch me, though. So at least we know this is definitely not the location we should be in. And also we know it's pretty dangerous. Let's get out of it. This guy's probably going to chase me for quite a while, I'm going to imagine. Don't mind me, friend. I'm out of here. Okay, let's go over here. What is this? I got 500 experience. I'll take it. I still haven't leveled up yet, though. Uh, we'll get there soon. How's my uh, officer doing, by the way? We recruited last episode. Make skills elites. We probably should do that, to be fair. I will do this. Um, no, let's wait. Let's see what skills she get, because I think there are some really good skills to make elite, and she can only pick one. There's enemies here, and this is a low warning. Uh, let's go in from the fringe jump point. Oh. <laughs> There's enemies here as well. Oh, that's not, that's not a big problem. Rocky World, Jungle World. I feel like we found it, everybody. Why, hi. Actually, thinking about it, this weird ship might be one of those squadrons I was talking about earlier. Oh, <laughs> he's got, just flew off. Ow, how dare you, sir. How's this going to work if we're at war with everybody here? I just can't join. I have to wait. I will buy my time. New alliance formed with S Spindle. Wait, what? Is this person not called Spindle? <laughs> wait, wait, is that a faction name? I maybe I've read it wrong. Wait a second. Wait a second. Spindle has posted a bounty. What kind of faction is called Spindle? What on earth? What? Well, good for them, I guess. <laughs> this is great. I'm going to be doing a job for my um, my new newfound allies. Yeah, let's kill this guy. So this is what I was on about before. It's just a, it's just a fighter. It's going to come with its own wing, and it's got like a, a bit more oomph to it, which is pretty cool. Before we all go. Now, it's called a Cataphrax, so I presume it's going to be a pretty heavily armoured fighter wing, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's go for the easy ones to this. Hi! He beat me to it. Oh, he's already killed it! <laughs> there goes the wing commander. Maybe not the best uh, fighter in the world. Let's get, let's get the hound. Maybe not. Ow, that's not a hound. That's a wolf. What am I talking about? Come on. Very nice. Oh, my friend's taking a little bit of damage there. Is that missile shooting missiles? What? What was happening? <laughs> Interesting. We're gonna have to do a speed up thing here. This is where, actually, what I should do, I'm gonna go around the back. Because I always not gonna be able to flank this guy. Okay, that worked. Oh, I'm on the edge of the map. I can't go any further south. I say it though, the enemy's kind of just killed himself, so. This must be an aggressive officer. Nice. Good job, team. Imagine if we get her one of these as well. <laughs> I'm going to get everybody one of these super uh, weapons. It'd be great. Additional XP due to overall battle difficulty. Plus 58%. I thought that was pretty easy, but I'll take it. That's fine. I'll take it. Okay, let's carry on then, shall we? I... Do we want to head back? We've got so much money now. I don't think there's any reason to stay here. Let's go and get ourselves some actual ships, shall we? Uh, where is the nearest allied world? Quite far away. <laughs> then instead, where is the nearest world that I can get fuel from? That one. Wait. The bounty's still there. Oh. No, it's saying, it's saying I've done it. It's all good then. Cool. I'm out of here. I would normally explore around, but with our fleet being so weak, <laughs> I think it's better just to get some new ships first. 
We we'll probably need to get some fuel right away, and then we we'll jump over to the original system we saw in, which was the place of all the other stuff. A ceasefire between Spindle and the Imperium. So have the alliances started to change yet? Not alliances, sorry, the wars. We're still all with loads of people, fair enough. Re oh, I didn't, were we all these guys at the start? I don't know if we were, to be honest. I think that was a new thing. Yeah, let's just jump into this system here. Yeah, because I also want to get some utility ships as well. Because if, if you think it's pretty weird how little stuff I can hold in my navy, I think it's because this ship actually doesn't actually hold. Where is it? Where is it? This ship... If I can find my ship. Where's the button, everybody? There it is. <laughs> this ship does not actually hold any fuel or cargo. It's a bit weird. Um, which means if I actually lose this ship... Uh, sorry, if I lose my other ship, I can't do anything. <laughs> so we've got to be very careful with that. Uh, let's go to the Polong. Oh, no. Oh, they're not hostile. Imagine if those merchants like kill him. <laughs> I would have just died. It'd been awful. Okay, so let's get ourselves uh, sell some random stuff. Oh, Middle Eastern music. I like it. Let's see. That's all I really need at this point. Let's carry on going. I want to go to Doha. You never know. There might even be some more pirates there now. Ah, we're no longer at war with the Reparation Society. Got to try and learn all the colours so we don't accidentally run into an enemy. There's something there. That's a friendly uh, believer. See that? Hopefully, we get some cool stuff. So I want to try and get at least like two more frigates and maybe like some one of those mini carriers. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's jump into here. So look, because both these stations are military, so we should have a pretty good selection of goods we can buy. Wait, where is it? Not over there. <laughs> Close enough. It's fine. Okay. Let's have a look. Hmm. Combat carrier. It's a very slow ship, though. Probably not what I really want, to be honest. Um. It's not a real combat carrier. Or anything like the like the thing. I think I'm not gonna get with that. I feel like it would probably be too slow for my military. Let's go for this instead. Let's go for the Hill Destroyer. The destroyer is stripped down to the bare minimum, which allows it to include as many weapons mounts onto the light weapon frame as possible. Devastating when attacking up front, but needs cover. Hmm. Another glass cannon. Do I really want a glass cannon? I don't think so. <laughs> what do we want to buy then? Uh, what's ooh. An advanced destroyer with much of its mass dedicated to sophisticated electronic warfare. Ooh. That could be interesting as well. Let's I'll tell you what, before we buy anything, let's have a look at both markets and let's see what we want we fancy and we'll go from there. They might, I might buy stuff here and go to the other one like, this is way better. <laughs> I should have bought this. Are they both military? Yeah, they are. Well, they were. But this one's a lot bigger in size, so it should be a bit better. Let's have a look. So a lot more choice already. Way more. Ooh. More of those. Okay. Recon cruiser. This is pretty cool. A light cruiser can get progressively phased out due to its middling combat performance. Not a good way to sell a ship to me, but it's okay. While still adequate as a backline support ship, the frag uh, fragility of the hulk, as well as inability to properly field ones as without significant modifications, has led the Admiral to decide to convert it. Interesting. So it's not great, but it can still do some stuff. What's it like in terms of speed? Top speed 50, top speed 45. Both of them kind of suck. <laughs> I hmm. well first off let's get this at least we got an extra frigate second off let's get oh a light cruiser I kind of like the look at this the main say of Diable Avionics these light cruisers are fast and excel in providing field support to ones that elements they carry 
and we can afford it as well. I think we should get a car uh, the cr light cruiser as our first up big ship, everybody. I know it's weird we're skipping destroyers altogether, but this thing is a bit faster. It has a fighter wing, and it's got a lot of... Uh, well, it's just an overall like, well-balanced ship by the looks of it. Let's grab this. It is damaged, though, but that's why it's cheap. Let's have a look. So. Oh, look at all these things we can get. Oh. No, 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 no. We have to get mechs only. Is this a giant sniper rifle? Berserker. No. It's got a shotgun. Oh. We may have to, let's, just, let's just try one of these in combat and see how cool it is. Uh, let's go into anybody. We'll just fight a random guy. Look how big it is. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, it's got little babies. Oh, it's adorable. Tune wing control. No, thank you. Go and kill that ship. Oh, it's a sniper one. I thought it was a Gatling one. Sorry. <laughs> so it's got the... Is that... Is that the harvester weapon? But it's a slow rate of fire. Quite interesting, though. And it's got, like, a missile launcher? Position blaster, magic boss missile rack, and IBIS. I don't know what that would be. Maybe, like, some kind of point defense? Not the best. I think that'd be really cool if you got like a big artillery ship and you get loads of them, but not probably the most exciting one. It does say sniper, I just ignored that apparently. A uh, shock trooper, that's the one we looked at a second ago. What are the range of these, by the way? 4,000, 4,000, 1,000, 1,000. Ah! Interesting. So we want to get at least a 4,000, I would say. A grenadier. A perfect compliment. Ah, so it's not really a mainstay by itself. So we'll ignore that one for now. Maybe we should go for this uh, Frost one. The baseline model of ones are optimized for mission versatility and a light logistical load. The, this is the cheapest series of ones that are still in service, but chassis sold car uh, car <laughs> the, But the chassis is solid characteristics all around. And a few updates to design. Hmm. It's got a handgun, a mono barrel IBIS, and a blade. Tempting. Or a shock trooper. What are their top speeds at? 200. Let's go for this guy, because a lot. This is pretty cool, having a big shotgun mech, but if it's top speed 175, we won't be able to catch a lot of the pirates we're probably going to be fighting right now. We'll go for the General Frost ones. Let's just try them out quickly. Let's see how they do. Because, of course, as we get bigger and more carriers, we can then get, like, the specialist uh, Wanzas. Off they go. Good luck out there, friends. I want to see you guys literally slice up that ship. Well, he tried. <laughs> Maybe not the best either. Let's try the, uh, let's try the, this one. Try the same enemy. Let's make sure we don't change the results too much. This one's definitely a lot bigger. Go and engage, my friend. Let's see how this does. Ooh. It's got through the armor, so if it gets a good few hits in the hole, it's dead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit hesitant with this one, because they all don't seem to be able to take on at least a hound anyway. But hounds are very fast ships. I would imagine that we probably should go for something like this, because it can probably help us out with a lot of the slower ones. Uh, oh, this, we missed one. That's the same one, sorry. That's the same one. I guess there is also the Grenadier. Should we try this? Maximum range, 4,000. Very mm, low speed, though. Let's try this one for now. It's not going to be fighting by itself anyway. It's going to have support. Um, let's also... It's got 40 power grid. And it's also got faulty automated systems, which is not brilliant. Requires 100% more minimum crew. That's not great. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, we got a large hype. Oh, oh. 
Mostro Cannon Array. That sounds pretty fun if you ask me. Uh, let's also equip a, a large point defense. Probably a good idea. This is a carrier after all. It's not going to be running around. Or do we want to... Hmm. No. We'll go for anti-shield. Anti-armor, anti-shield. The rest can be a bunch of point defense. Oh, yeah, IBIS. Integrated Ballistic Intercept System. Definitely point defense. <laughs> Uh, we haven't got a lot of them though in this, this place, so let's just equip two for now. We'll equip one on this slot here. And we'll equip one here. The rest we put down as point defense lasers, we'll switch them out later. And do we want to have like a... This is a front facing weapon anyway. Let's get some additional anti-shield. Iron cannon. Go for that. Okay, I think we should try this. Let's grab that. Let's it up as much as possible. Dedicating targeting tour for sure. Yes. Uh, retreat on degrading performance and also retreat on hull damage, but medium because you're a bigger ship. We should probably also grab ourselves that maxed out. It's already thrusters and done. Let's get this shot. Do that. We should probably save this as a default so I can just apply it. Uh, how do I do that again? That was down here. Bada bing. Oh, I don't what. Ah, we can't really do this though because we haven't got the point defenses. Okay. Uh, what? Are these different, by the way? Oh, I got like a different version of point defense. Interesting. We'll look into it. It's fine. That's that. Oh, it should be a little bit better. We also have to spend the rest of our money on... Oh, we can sell this now as well. Sell that for some more money. Get ourselves loads more fuel, loads more um, supplies, and loads more crew. Where are the crew? There they are. <laughs> blind. I am literally blind. And done. I want to try this out. So let's see if we can find an enemy nearby. It looks like there is somebody near the pirate base. But this is wreckage. Never mind. We're probably going to have to go somewhere else to find some enemies. What is that? Oh, that's that weird allied army without a transponder on for some reason. Okay, did this, does this place have the... Wait, Q requirements. Wait a minute. Wait, what? What? Oh! I need to get like a transport ship to hold more crew. <laughs> Apparently the uh, the crew is just too little at the moment. I thought we leveled you up. Ooh, uh, helmsmanship for sure. Yes. And make that your elite skill. Okay, so. Point defense, point defense, point defense. Nope, we haven't got any here either. We'll have to look for that in the future. I'm sure we'll find some eventually though. I was going to say as well, maybe I should get some missiles for this, but we'll look into that later. Micro missile launcher. Would be interesting. But whatever. Let's see if we can go and find some enemies. Oh, also, can I buy like a little buggy ship or something? Frigates. Black market shuttle, maybe? How much crew does this hold? I can see that. Where do I even see the crew? <laughs> Maintenance, cargo capacity, maximum crew. Ah, uh, that probably means it's maximum crew is probably how much it holds, so that's not enough really, is it? We need to get an increase in capacity. This would definitely work. Oh yeah, maximum crew 400, that's how that works, okay. To be fair, the, the debuff is very minor right now. We can probably just wait until we find a better quality transport ship. Okay, so if we go back out into the main map again, let's have a quick look. Oh, also move this stump stuff around. Should this not work this way? I thought if you put this at the back, it should fill up the crew here first, and then it will fill up the one at the back, but I don't know. Who knows? Okay, so let's go to the main map. Let's have a quick look. Bounties. Easy bounty over there. 
let's go interesting let's go right first we kill this guy we'll go north there seems to be loads of them over there we should be able to get enough fuel from the combat hopefully to come back anyway uh we need to go near a toxic world near a giant primary star which could be one of these two We are unfortunately a little bit slower than we were before though because of the extra oh actually we're quite a bit slower because we've actually got a nav boy buff, buff as well money should we just see if we can buy transport now <laughs> as i can let's go and buy transport the money income is brilliant everybody give me a ship let's go for Not civilian transports, but overkill. This. Uh, maximum burn nine. It's pretty fast. We'll take it. And that should definitely give us enough room to get what we need. Also, I got this prisoner. I should get rid of them. Maximum. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say maximum uh, supplies there, but it didn't really work out. Uh, special functions, prisoners, release. Okay, I thought so. I didn't think I had maximum relations with this thing, so. Okay, let's head out then. Let's go. 14 a day? Oh, it's probably because we're increasing uh, repairs. That's fine. No. <laughs> The sun is too close to this point. I can't get to it. No, we got it. We got it. And I think, to be fair, after we get, like, probably a few bounties done off of this probably trip, we can probably start actually looking into the war because I feel like we can already make a little bit of a difference. Uh, oh, it's going to take a while to get over there. We probably should have invested in a tug as well. Though I don't think we can afford one with the money we have. It's going to be quite a trek to get over there. So how long is it going to take? It's going to take us six days to get there. We're basically going to run out of supplies by the time we arrive. So it's going to be a little bit awkward. Um, but there is an allied base over here. Let's go with... Nah, we'll, we'll do this first. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to say just in case it doesn't work out, I can go south in, uh, instead. But The Emmy Raid attacking somebody. No one's attacking us yet, though. I don't think I've seen anybody attacking us yet. Avoid that. There's somebody there. So what was it? A toxic world, I think they said it was. So let's have a look for one of those. There's somebody over here. There's a prospector. It also looks like a base of some kind. Oh, I can't reach it. Wait, if I go in, like, directly on top of it, it should be fine. Speed! Believe! No, no. Okay, begin salvage operations. Oh, we got loads. Scorpion, Javelin, ECM package, solar shielding, which could be pretty handy right now. <laughs> uh, and the pirate blueprints again, which we have unlocked a second time. What is this? Volkov. Ooh. I'll take all this random stuff. To be fair as well, we are trying to use this faction, of course, but there may be better weapons in other factions, which may be a better investment to use instead of the ones we have here. So, okay, so is there a toxic world in this location? Uh, barren, 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 cryovolcanic, toxic. Very nice. Ooh, we did that on the way out. There's a salvage field there. It seems like this place is colonized, if you ask me. It seems to be a lot of roiders everywhere. It's because they have actually colonized it. Then there you go, everybody. <laughs> now we know. Ah, oh, they're not here. Did they get killed? They're dead. Damn it. The uh, the Reuters must have moved in here and killed the uh, bounty. Oh, we got a, an administrator. Ooh. We'll take all that loot and we're going to sell it right away. Oh, we're so slow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's too much loot, everybody. Too much loot. If we go at least a little bit of speed, we can sell the rest. Make a nice little bit of money from trading. Hi, I would like to sell this random stuff I found next to you. 
Wait, where did that stop? Oh, because it went down a price. Fair enough. Let's sell this random stuff. I'm going to sell it on the black market in case I accidentally a lot. Oh, I'll sell it to him anyway. It'll be fine. Get rid of all this. Nice! Getting loads of money. From doing... We pretty much got more money, I think, from doing that than the bounty anyway. So it kind of works out. Is there a tuck here to increase my speed? No. There's no tuck here. Well, that's fine. A light carrier. Cowboy. The Royal Union is clearly very, like, uh, cowboy base, I think. <laughs> okay, let's go back, grab the rest of the food. We'll sell that as well. As why not, right? More food for the food gods. Done. Food for the food gods. Enjoy. So you must have set this up. Is there like a thing showing what is going on with that? Gates insurance. Oh, I got insurance from my... Ooh, I can insure my ships. Interesting. Military. Squadron manager. Warning beacons. Okay. Now, what if that was be, I guess there might be like a thing saying this person's moved out to this location. Or like a expansion kind of thing. Scoreboard. Ooh, it was like milestones. Important. Interesting. Anyway, let's move on. Did that. That went pretty well. Bounties. There seems to be a lot of pirate bases. <laughs> In fact, there's three of them. That's pretty insane. Let's go for this guy. This guy is rumored to be in a rocky, unstable world and system with a giant primary star, which I think would probably just be that one. Uh, I'll try that one. Ah, fuel. We probably need to want to buy some fuel before we fall off again. What did that say? Thunder Dominion forms. Diable Avionics and Spindle. Interesting. We've made an alliance with an, uh, another party. Okay, let's get out of there. What I'll probably do as well when I get to the next upgrade, I might grab the one that increases speed, which is always pretty handy. Actually, does it increase speed? I think it does. Not sure. Well, I thought I thought I got enough points to level up. Maybe I'm not there. Who knows, everybody? Who knows? There was something nearby. <laughs> something right. Oh, there's a big battle. Oh my God, that's a huge battle. Let's go in. For the glory of our empire. We're here to help. There goes my little uh, mech, mech warriors. Let's not get killed here by all these random ships. This is definitely not a military fleet, um, but also the enemy's not a military fleet either. We should probably grab this one. I think it's been quite important to grab that sensor relay. In fact, we probably should in put our entire squad over there. So I want to go for this because it should give our entire nation a boost between our weapon range and reduce the enemy's weapon range in one go. So it's pretty handy. Uh, how dare you, sir? I got the damage to take that out properly. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it bounced off us. It's fine. <laughs> I'm surprised she's still going for it. I thought she was going to back up. Okay, let's go for it again then. Come on. Finish him off. Nice. Reverse enemy down. So the enemy has gone in for the center by looks of it. We should oh we should also grab that nav boy. In fact, as the battle's gone this way, let's assault the enemy nav boy. Then we get more speed. And you see on the bottom uh, on the left-hand side panel now, the enemy has negative five percent weapon range, which is pretty handy for us. It seems like they've kind of just pushed down, and we've kind of like gone off to the right a little bit. 
I can't really hurt those big ships there. I can probably go around there. Oh, there's also a fast carrier. These guys are pretty annoying. And pretty good if you want to buy one yourself. Let's go for the ones that I can actually kill, which are going to be these frigates. Ah, I've been given a brawler though. This guy should be easy. Ah, oh, ooh, actually, change plan. This is a very squidgy... Ooh, the missiles! Oh, no! This is a very squidgy enemy destroy hit. In fact, let's call these guys to help us out here. How's my carrier doing? It's fine. It's right, right in the middle of my allies there. Okay, let's make sure we're completely opposite direction of where my fleet's going to come from. We've got that ally as well. But be very careful though. This guy is very squishy, but he's also very tough if he actually hits you. We've lost some allies there. Oh, there they are. Oh, guys, why are you coming from that direction? We got them. Maybe a little bit overkill with the missiles there, but it's fine. Enemy down. Very nice. Okay. Oh, they've also got a very large... they got, like, two cruiser-sized ca uh, ships here. They've got a giant carrier, and they also got a giant uh, cruiser. They're going to be a pain to take down. Get rid of those objectives. I thought the enemy had more ships than this, to be honest, so I'm a bit surprised by that. That is a really annoying ability. It always makes it very hard to actually kill them. I want to go for the ones I can kill, though, for the bounties. Like this guy. Should I say that? Nice. That's a lot of missiles. That's <laughs> how many missiles there are. That cruiser is going down. It's taking way too much damage there. Nice. Oh, it fired a Reaper, though. Oh, that's my guys. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Oh, look at all those missiles. Oh, that's a lot of missiles they're firing there. Nice. Okay, what have they got left? It's the fast carry. He's trying to make a he's making a break for it. We try and go around behind it so it can't just ignore us. Oh I got hit by a, whatever that was. That was quite painful actually. Wanna get the engines if we can. Oh careful here. Back up, back up, back up. Hmm, we need the rest of the Alliance to show up here, because... Oh, it's my little... It's my little mechs! They're adorable! Use your swords, men! <laughs> Sacrifice your lives! Wait, is he going I want to see them use a sword. I also need to watch what my ship's doing as well. <laughs> I think this guy's going to escape. This is why I love this uh, carrier, because it's so fast. That support beam is very annoying. Oh, I'm taking too much hits here. This is not looking good for us. Yeah, those missiles, when they run out of their uh, trails there, they actually end up hitting you instead, which is not great. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to escape. He's done a good job here. That's not good. That's not good. You're okay, buddy. I got you. I got you. Oh, no, we miss. Okay, we got some real firepower on us now. Be careful, friend. Please be careful. Who's firing? Is it these? That red... That's like a... That's, this is pretty powerful, this red thing. We might win this. If we can hurt its engines and it can't actually get away, 
Oh, they really hurt. They really, really hurt. Those are amazing. What are they? Assault Walker. It's some kind of mech. Interesting. Um, let's get my guy. He's escaped. Let's be honest here. He's escaped. Let's get my guys to back up. Let's not lose any lives here. I said let's not lose any lives here, guys. <laughs> we might be okay, actually. If we get enough damage right now. Oh, we got it. We got it. Use the swords, guys. Use the swords. Please. Ah, oh, he didn't use the swords. Never mind. I saw him using it in the simulation, but... Ooh, that's been close. Oh, they have a massive fleet, but it's support ships. Look at all those support ships. Okay, we're going to go in from the left, and we're going to try and kill as many as possible. I don't think there's much point deploying the carrier in this one. That's what... I thought their fleet was massive. It's because all these support guys. Oh, they're retreating because of the... Do you know what? I'm actually okay with... No, not... You guys can attack. Don't retreat. Attack. I can always overwrite their commands. This is an alternative thing, so... Forward to glory! This should get us a lot of kill credits, so we can get quite a few of them hit. Why, hi! How's it going, guys? Where, where do you think you're going? These guys are a bit fast. My allies are killing other ones though, so we got at least. It's not. I'm not by myself. Keep forgetting that my point defense works while I'm using this ship, uh, the fast mode. Oh no, they're gonna escape! No, 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 no! <gasps> Wait, go faster, go faster! You got some time here. No! Oh! <laughs> Nailed it. It's fine. It's dead. It's not a problem. Okay, let's go and kill some more. These are some big boys. My guys are killing the la medium freighters. Not freighters, sorry. The uh, medium tankers. Oh, we can do this. I should have come at this from the back, though, because I don't think we're going to get enough damage in time. Is it going to... Wait, I'm going to stay here in case it plows into me. It would be hilarious. <laughs> None shall pass. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Well, it got away. <laughs> Turns out my sheer weight was not enough to stop that unit. Oh, no, they're getting away now. Oh, no. Well, that's enough of that. I'm pretty sure my guys did catch one of those big ones, though, at least. The hound is retreated. Why is the hound retreating? What if I died? Can you imagine if I die from that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we killed this one. Get the engines, get the engines. Oh, look at my allied ship, it's absolutely scorched. Oh, nice. Are we missing one? Do I, did I lose a ship? I think it fell back. No, apparently it's in the battle somewhere, else over there. Well, at least we got some kill credits there, though. Because my ally didn't really have any fast ships at all, really. Done. So, let's have a quick look here. What do we get? We got 1.8k credits. Not great, but it's better than nothing. Uh, pick through wreckage. I'll take all these. Take the fuel as well. And I guess we'll take all the supplies because it would disappear anyway. For repairs and stuff. Level up. Hooray. Okay. Let's see. So, I think... I, I thought I already picked this. But to be fair, I had to read out a bit, bit of the game because there was an issue at some point. So, I had to go back and do it from a save. And different things happen, so that might be why I haven't leveled up. Uh, let's see. What was I going to go for before? This, wasn't it? It was this. Well, I do kind of feel like as well, I really want to try this. I was thinking about this afterwards, because I remember this had a 15% increase in range. Increase in accuracy as well. I think this might be pretty worth it. Though, saying that, where was the one that increased the movement speed? This. I think... Just for the interest of getting to places quicker, we're going to go for this for now. So we get less penalties for terrain, uh, terrain, well, in general. Also, we get more burn level, and also more burn level while using sustained burn. So we get plus two, in effect. Ooh, 
they're not escaping very far. We can get that. We can get, wait, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. No, no, whoa, damn. He's like, I'm out of here, man. Screw this. I'm leaving. Get them. Get them. Why is he trying? Okay, we got him, we got him. Yes. I like how I'm the pirate now. <laughs> I'm the pirate you should be fearing. So your movement speed is 65. Um, what is the movement speed of these guys? 50... 40. We'll also deploy the carrier because it should be able to help us out with the kills and stuff. I haven't actually seen the main weapons fire on that gun, actually. We'll do that in a simulation, I think, after this to give it a shot. Uh, they are retreating right away. Oh, he's already gone. He's immediately retreated. That was quick. Let's get as many kills as possible. I have got a lot of armor on the back, but as soon as we get through it, he should go down quite quickly. Nice. Do you know what? The point of that carrier was not a good idea. It's not really done what I thought it was going to do. It's fine, though. Uh, what do we want to go for next? I'm going to go for this guy. This guy here. Oh, that's already a wounded one. thought you were a pirate. I'm the true pirate, you fools. It's sanctioned piracy. It's what a commission really was, so there you go. <laughs> That's how it works in real life as well. Two enemies out. Even if we're not going to kill all of them, at least we're getting some more stuff from this. The enemy is pretty much retreated. I wish my allies were a bit more aggressive there, but I should give them some orders. Uh, go for that freighter, so they haven't got any fuel. <laughs> As I'm apparently, a, I'm a horrible person. Is that the one that tried to ram me? It's the ram one! You will not escape me this time. No, this gonna... No! I can't believe... It escaped me again! It's my nemesis at this point. I... <laughs> oh. Get this, get, oh, it's, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I thought I was pressing fast forward mode. Hit the engines, hit the engines. This one at least. Done. Are you still miles away? Oh, this guy's off. It's fine. Whee. Done. Victory for the Victory Gods. Now, I do want to check out a few things. So, we did a few battles there in a row. Did we get any upgrades there? So, apparently, my original ship has been upgraded with its little known things. Now, it's also known for being durable, more hull integrity, and also having a higher top speed, which is awesome. Uh, my carrier has, ne has less weapon recall, but also less recovery chance because it's doomed! And also, I... That's not me, that's my allied one, sorry. Uh, weapon range, very, very nice, but less durability, which isn't really a problem, really. Um, oh, also, Sleet has now got a well-known reputation, which is pretty cool. So if I go and look at mine, what was mine? What did I get? What did I have? Notable. Oh, same thing, again. It looks like I might be getting fast turret gyros and robust, which are both pretty potato, to be honest, everybody, but it's okay. It is what it is. The crew apparently don't really care about me. They're indifferent. <laughs> it's like, what do you think about your captain? Ah, uh, he's, uh, he's okay, I guess. What is happening? Is this a sense of thing? Or is it a dance party? Oh, they're gone. They're shooting my fleet. That's not very nice. That is a... Uh, bit risky for us right now, mostly because we're cur currently wounded. We should definitely be able to escape this. What we'll do though, we'll have to same burn leave. What's my max speed now? It should be... It's 18! Nice. So what we'll do, we're going to back up a little bit. We're going to wait until we get some more HP. We will make our way towards the bounty though. Because we, we are repairing as we go along. Oh, there's another little baby. And I kind of set it back there by flying into that field there. <laughs> Luckily for me, that wasn't a pirate. Well, that could have been a complete disaster. Uh oh. Nope. 
<laughs> my brain's like, hit the glowy things. Like, no brain, that's not the right idea. You're going to be avoiding them. To that as well. Okay, so we made it to the large. Oh, that's a pretty one. Let's go inside. What was the uh, what was the mission, my friend? Giant primary star hiding by a rocky, unstable world. Fair enough. Let's go inside them. Well, everybody, apart from that, though, I think it's been around an hour, so we will be ending this episode here. We will be trying to take on the dastardly. What's your name, guys? Logan Ophanos. Next episode, everybody. Oh no. He's got some fast sat cruisers. These actually really suck. But that would be our next problem in next episode, everybody. Apart from that, I hope everyone has enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.